In this video, guys, we're going to look at a handy little VWAP trick. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to your right. So VWAP is a beautiful indicator. It's really, really useful. I've done multiple videos on it. By now, you're subscribed to the channel. You know I like the VWAP. And one more thing I wanted to share with you guys was this trick. So this is a way of using the VWAP to keep you out of choppy markets. Now, we talked a little bit before about extensions away from VWAP, from pullback to VWAP, all this kind of stuff and setups and strategies. This this is purely to stop you getting caught up in choppy markets that are not going to help you with your trading, specifically if you're a trader who likes to thrive on volatility, which I'd say is probably most of us, right? So what's the scenario? So if you look at your intraday chart, by the way, this is when we've had the most powerful intraday, I'm sure you can have it on like a 15 minute chart over multiple days and it's still there, but this is from an intraday perspective. So I'm also, you know, guys, for swing traders as well, you know, if you're wanting to execute intraday um, for a four or five week month move, whatever it may be, then this may help you kind of wait until you get some sort of clear, clearer signal and the market's starting to move in the direction that you were, uh, how your premise. All right, so purple line VWAP, price uh, black line, one versus two. Now, you might say, hey, this is a range and this is nice to trade. Now, okay, there's definitely something to be said for using this kind of method that we talked about before, distance away from view up extrapolating and trading like that. If you're that type of trader, then fine. However, most traders prefer volatility, big kind of swings, back and forth rotations that we can get our teeth into. And so an easy clue to or kind of filter if you like, and you know, filters the first kind of thing we do before we go into the setup or the trigger. So this is kind of something additional you could add. So your filter would be right. Let me look at the first hour of trade. So for example, here, there's our first, in fact, let me do a thick black. So there's our first hour, so 60 minutes of trade, and adjusted to suit the current market conditions, you know, might be 35, uh, sorry, 30, 45, might be an hour and a half. So have a play around with it and count the number of times price has tagged the VWAP. Because generally speaking, that's the open. Some people say it's the first 15 minutes, some people say it's the first 30. But if you're going, you know, between 30 minutes and an hour, you're about the opening period. And count how many times it's tagged the VWAP. So, you give it a, give it off the open. You're obviously going to be opening up at zero, and make sure you're using the um, regular trading hours of VWAP, guys. Not the 24-hour session. I know a lot of people use a 24-hour session. Uh, for me, it's better if you use the regular trading hours. If you can't get that, then use something like Spy, the ETF, or DIA, which is the Dow Jones ETF. If you're spread betting the Dow, for example or any vehicle. So you want the VWAP to start at zero when the first trade goes at the bell. And now we wanna watch and see how many times it tags the VWAP. Because the theory of this is that if it's tagging the VWAP multiple times, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times here, for example, then there is indecision. There's no real supply demand shift. No one's really gone, okay, we're gonna push aggressively and we're kind of driving through and we're, and we're you know, out of balance and we're, we're not getting two-way trade, we're getting momentum and pullbacks and, and serious kind of movement of volatility. Um, and especially when it's rotating around a VWAP, which is, which is a rough average, really as good at, good at average as any. I think it's better than a moving average myself. We know a lot of institutions look at it, we know a lot of algos work off it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Go and check out some of the videos I've done. We've got some more depth on that if that's interesting, your VWAP is an interesting topic to you. And so if you're tagging it multiple times, you could probably conclude that we haven't really got much of an imbalance to get our teeth stuck into because as retail traders, guys, all we're trying to do is ride the coattails of bigger money when their supply demand imbalance is out of sync. We want to find a location, jump on it, jump off, stick the money in our pocket, wait for the next one. That's really what we're looking for. And so you could argue that if we're constantly going back and forth around the VWAP, no one's really kind of setting their stall out and going, yeah, you know what, I'm committed on the long side, committed on the short side. There's no real imbalance. It's really balanced because it's pinging back and forth. And yes, going back to the initial point, 
Perhaps if that's a trading strategy you like, then maybe different. But I'm talking from a perspective of getting the teeth stuck into you know, some momentum. Whereas if you look at uh, number two here, uh, we'll put a little versus number two. So again, the VWAP will be sloping up in this example because you'd be pushing up. But how many times have we closed it, uh, touched it in the first hour? So if we go the first 60 minutes, is the first 60 minutes and uh, we touched it twice so we had a little tag there and once there could be once or twice but you get the point one to two touches way different so the imbalance has been significant now you may you may say to me well it's the same kind of pattern well maybe but the point is we've moved away then we've moved back over and we've done it once. We haven't gone back, 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 indecision, indecision, indecision. We've driven one direction, reversed, driven the other direction. And there's long periods of time, this is why we use a time indicator here, there's long periods of time before we've gone back to it again, showing that people are stretching, stretch, the spring is stretching even further before it's compressing, stretching further than compressing. Whereas in this example, it's just kind of just oscillating slightly and not giving us a real kind of opportunities to get our teeth stuck into so hey guys a little uh, a little trick a little hack if you like let me know if you like this kind of stuff if this helps you out um if you can add anything to it then please feel free in the comment section below but yeah hour 30 minutes to an hour as many times it's tagged the vwap if it's tagged the vwap loads you might want to give it a miss for the day if it's only tagged it a few times maybe it's worth tuning in for some opportunity for a continued drive or some sort of mean reversion type trade back to the view that's the final thing as well you know when you're extending quite away from the view app and you're tagging it once or twice as opposed to multiple times then the mean reversion trades are going to be enough have enough meat in them whereas these ones you probably have to go from high to low to make it worth your while this one you can mean revert back to an obvious view app or buy the view app etc all right guys take care see you next one keep the risk managed bye bye